everybody yes begrip here with, with another tutorial for creativo.com and today we're going to work uh, in after effects uh, what we're going to create is this little effect that I tossed together for you uh, so let's hit player so yeah that's what we're going to make just this shattering of the wall and the text coming out so let's get right into it. Let's make a new comp, and we just press OK here because I have preset it to a HD format, uh, and there we have it. Basically, what we want to do then is just rename this to background, and we also want to sort our files a little bit. So comps, and press the map button again, and we just make a um, file files like that and just pull it outside so we don't have it in this. and then I just pull in my file file objects in there and I pull in my comps in there so there we go okay now in the background here I want to pull in my, my background that we want to have as a background and there we have that one then I want to make another composition there will be a lot of compositions in this one so we try to keep track of them and we just name this one uh, frame BG frame BG math um, and then we make a new composition and we make this frame uh, frame background frame no actually I'm going to just fra frame 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 <laughs> that's a pretty good name so yeah there we have it in the frame frame we want to make a new if we select it, we want to make a new solid and we make it white solid and then we just want to scale this down to around the size we want the shattering to be so I want it around there and then we want to jump back into frame BG math and in there we want to pull in the frame frame and we want to pull in the background and then we want to al alpha the background to the frame frame so there we go then we want to jump into the frame frame again and then we want to just have a roughen edges on there okay so the, as you see here it roughens the edges a little bit so we want to hit up the board a little bit and then we can like stretch but that's not really that important uh, scale I want to have a little bit up so it gets cooler and then we just wanna have it around here or something like that that looks pretty good and then you can change this as you want but like it's pretty good to have it around here so something like that and now as you see here if we jump in here we have the background on there and it looks good so now what we want to do is just go into project again and we want to make new two new compositions shatter and shatter mask shatter mask okay so in the shatter mask here, I'm gonna reposition a little bit. In the shatter mask, what we want to do, ha we want to have the frame frame, and we also want to have the frame BG math, and we want to alpha this to the frame frame, and then we want to jump into shatter. In the shatter here, we want to have the shatter mask pulled in like that, and then we want to have a shatter effect on that. So pull over the shatter effect. Uh, we want to change this to rendered so we can see what's happening and we're going to change this render to pieces soon but we keep it on all for now so it's easier to see um, we want to just go into shape here we want to change this to glass and we also want to yeah the extrusion depth you can play around long with but I'll keep it on point 20 so you can see what's happening with that and uh, then we want to just take here we want to pr press the position key and we want to just uh, hold down shift and pop it out there then we want to go to around two three seconds something like that and we want to just hold down shift and pop it around there so now it will move along this path and it will extrude as you see here and it will shatter our background so yeah what we want to do then is raise down the strength here to just a little bit like 0.2 something like that and then we want to go into psychics 
physics sorry physics I actually learned how to pronounce that now uh, we want to raise up the gravity a little bit so it falls fast and we can change a little bit on rotation here we can play along with the, the this randomness you know give it a little bit of a uh, different depth and we can change the gravity as we want like we want it to fly down pretty fast so and then we can change the vis viscosity a little bit you know so it falls a little bit differently so maybe not that much a little bit just Th this will allow the middle to stay a little bit and look it looks really cool like you know it actually stuck to the wall and then falls off so I'm gonna raise up the gravity a little bit give it a little bit faster fall that's good uh, because it's a little bit down like that that looks perfect okay so now we have the shatter effects and we have everything yeah when we have the shatter effect and everything like that we want you know some pieces to stay at the top and the bottom so what you want to do then is go into the force here and you want to change the radius down and this is basically where you have to like play along with it uh, see where the radius actually is uh, actually I'm also going to take the repetition here and raise it up to maybe uh, something like that 26.5 this is all depending on what you want and then we have to change the radius here again see where it fits us best probably uh, point 0.15 maybe Th this is a little bit trial and error as you see like because it's different depending on the size of your background here so it's not that maybe 10 10 was better but still as you see there's a little bit too much but we can ra ra uh, take it to 11 then. 11 looks pretty good so let's keep it on 11 then and um, yeah that that's the, the shatter effect then if we say it like that what we want to do then is go into projects we want to make a new project and call this shatter shadow uh, and this is just basically we can turn on the transparent grid now and in this we want to just have two of our shatter effects so two shatters effect uh, this one here and this one at the bottom here we want to have a fill on fill uh, so let's just pull it there and on the fill we want to have it almost black so around there and then we want to have a CC radial oh, radial fast blur on it and we want to just pull this up around there so we get a little bit of shakiness as you see here now it's going to give a little bit of shadow uh, underneath our pieces I also want to maybe press arrow down and arrow to the right ones so move it a little bit and it will give us shadow underneath our falling effect so there that's pretty good okay so when we've done that I almost uh, yeah so I almost forgot one thing guys that is really important when you're in the shadow here make sure to as I said before switch the render to pieces uh, otherwise it won't fit good with the background because now it will just be the pieces rendering out and it won't be a frame there if it's a frame there it will look bad later so just make sure that it's only the pieces that renders out and it will make it look way better way way better okay so let's keep on with the rest then so yeah now it's time for our logo and what I like to do then is just make a new composition once more and name this just logo placeholder and in our logo placeholder we want to just pull in our Cree logo and we also want to pull in the whatever background we want so I just taking like a metal one here because that looks cool I'm figuring um, and we can also have this one and just lower the opacity of this one a little bit so it will be a metal background with like grungy feel to it something like that okay so that's just the logo placeholder then. Um, so yeah but then with the logo placeholder we go into just make a new comp and name this one uh, logo frame and in the logo frame we want to just pull in the logo placeholder as well as um, the frame frame 
and then we want to just alpha the frame frame to the logo oh sorry actually the other way around we want to alpha the logo placeholder to the frame frame like that and that will give us the logo inside the frame so now what we want to do is just make another composition and we want to name this one logo reveal and this is basically the layer that will reveal the logo so we want to pull in then the logo frame and we also want to pull in the uh, the frame bg math and we want to alpha this no alpha this one to the logo frame like that Yeah, it's actually the logo frame underneath, sorry. And then alpha method and put on the light again so we see it, that's good. And then when you have done this so far, what you want to do then is go back to shatter, take the shatter effect here, control C, go back to logo reveal, go on the frame BG math, control C. Uh what you want to do then is just go into the here the, the settings and yeah you want to keep this on pieces of course so um, we want to go into the force uh, we want to change the strength to zero we want to go into physics change this to zero 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 like that and this will just you know pop it out like this just let it pop out uh, so once we've done okay so now it's time for just making the final comp and this is the main comp so let's just name this main comp and if this is you want it like it reveal a second time this won't be the main comp it will just be the comp main comp for comp one <laughs> there will be all these comps once again just to make this effect once more so you kinda end up with a lot of comps but um, yeah in this one what we want to do is have the shatter shadow we want the BG and we want the uh, recent one logo reveal and we just want the logo reveal to be up over the BG and then if we scrub through here you will see that we will have the shadow effect like this and it will reveal our logo and it as you see here there's just some shadows on there so that's basically how you do that then if you want it to look, look a little bit better but I like to do is just on the logo reveal here you just take a um, layer style on it see your layer styles and then just inner shadow <coughs> and then the inner shadow is in Photoshop you can just change here distance a little bit up something like that so it looks like it's underneath and uh, size a little bit up as well something like that makes it look give it a little bit more depth uh, and then as well what we want to do is just <coughs> to give it a little bit cooler effect it's just on the shatter shadow we want to have a um, motion uh, there force motion blur and this as you see now gives it a motion to the pieces as they fall so if we do a pre-render here you will see there they start falling and they motion as they fall so yeah that's pretty much it this is how you do a shatter uh, of the wall like this so yeah uh, I hope you guys find this tutorial useful and that it actually helped you in any way so <laughs> make sure to subscribe to creativo.com um, both on our webpage and our YouTube channel and um, yeah make sure to check back for more tutorials and if you have any requests you want to know whatever just PM me and I'll make sure I'll figure something out so thank you for watching and uh, have a great day